Hello, people viewers, and welcome to Mr. Who is You. Today, I'm viewing to Die Another Day. This is the 20th movie for Bond franchise and came out the 40th anniversary. And yes, there are some homages or just some tributes to some of the other movies. They're not really that annoying, and some just so just okay. And I do like how when they show the old uh, gadgets from the movies, like the jetpack from Moonraker or something the ball. I forgot this one. Anyway, this movie. Uh, this is Peter Brosnan's fourth and last Bond movie, and this is the same form that he did. In uh, the order of three, so okay. And Emmy is once again played by Judy Dance, who is a gorgeous role. They can refer a horse in the male end from the classic or old Bob movies. He's just so very good for the role, I don't know why it just is. Anyway, the movie uh, Bond is in South. And, uh, I guess they are from Asian country. I forget this song. And they uh, tend to be a, a diamond smuggler that found some diamonds in that or something. And they just get found out and put in the prison for about 14 months. And then it gets it. So the prince are exchange him. Is captured on the yeah, MS6 and M provokes his person carefully escapes. Anyway, and that's a lot of things that they do a lot of fun, so you wouldn't get the bell. If you get to uh, the paper and you find a person they're looking for, they pray kill him or find out what he's doing and stuff like that. Halle Berry played Jinx in this, I like, say, the Halle Berry was good, really good acting, the acting was good, good, but the character is just awful. She's, she's like a stereotypical female psychic. Just do like one liner and try to be sassy, but she isn't. And the set innuendos are just awful at this. And the Pawns. Oh my god. Things might be the better Robin up for the bar movies. So bad. And as I said, the second one is so bad as well. Look at the, the earlier ones you couldn't really tell when they're doing any of them. But this is like for the hammer it in or something. Ugh. And you can totally tell that the some special effects are done in like uh, green, uh, green, the uh, blue screen, green screen. I don't know what the difference is. Yeah. And it's just all what he did it. And the theme of Jinx is tied to a table and not to get a, a hit with a, a laser beam. Yeah, a gold paint reference. And for some reason, there's a slice and dice mode on it. Why? Is it because the bad guy is Asian? Makes no sense. And there's a character in called, um, Miranda Frost. Yeah, if you haven't figured out this, you know, already see the bad guy. I'm not gonna say well, exactly why. Uh -huh. So I've mentioned there's quite a list. Sorry. Anyway. Maybe it's good, but it's certainly not really have to say that a lot of families knew that it's good. Except for the opening team. Ugh. It was done by Madonna, and she does a cameo in this, 
or cameo is better than her song. It's like, it's like a big big raven pop music or something. It's just awful. They don't get into the sea, into the movie or anything. And it's kind of a fun being tortured. Why? At least some of them had a point of what they're doing, what the movie is doing, or is about. <sighs> I'd actually fit into the certain, certain uh, visual stuff that some during uh, the opening scene. It did just like living in the fire. When a, a dance or something. Some of them live in fire or live in lava. What was with the brother that wrote this? I don't need the music, I need the, the whole entire movie. I don't know if these things are in the books, but still. And the dancing scene? I don't really know how to dance. But the light air fights in Star Wars 4, 5, 6, 2, and 3 look more believable as dancing than this. It doesn't make no sense. I don't know why they did it like this. If you're a 12, 12 year old, you probably enjoy this movie, but older, you just either cringe, or slap yourself in the, on the forehead. I'm glad I think you and this is good. It's just too bad they only stuck playing for one movie. And they can't really bring him back for strike while, so. Ugh. You probably get it now. And the war scene has to be when that Mon Kenny is our Death and then from back and he start. I don't. I would say doing it. And turns out it all is a stimulation on cues, virtual reality glasses that then you to train. Okay, this, this is, that was ruined the character of Monty Penny. But he might have a sexual attraction. To Zane, but they always have like a drawing relationship. She's the one woman that she'll never do. They might throw might together, but never do each other. Just real it. And why would you put in a simulation like that for a training thing? Oh, God. Oh yeah, the visible car. It, that makes no sense either, because I don't know if people can see you inside the car when it goes invisible or or what. It, it makes no sense. Like I've, I've seen the movie and it, and it does so that they, the people can see it inside the car and it goes invisible, but yeah, like. One of the visible planes, but then it's soldier inside the cockpit of the plane, or then it's just soldier, like, looks like he's flying what's in down. It makes no sense. It just doesn't. And the sign Dixon thing here, when he Try to give uh, people different faces like that with their DNA. No, that just sounds impossible. If face off wouldn't do something like this, I did think face off look plausible. Yeah. Where I wrote this, I hope to get that man must work work after it, after this. But it just sounds. Head scratching. Or being head scratching. I don't know what it sounds too. 
It looks sick on face. Stupid. Like, there's an a ice, uh, fortress with the, uh, and the bad guy, uh, Gustav, uh, I don't remember him. Uh, Graves, I guess. His, uh, on his, uh, device, Icarus. And all the women have backwards dresses. An ice fortress in Iceland. I don't know how they're not talking from hypothermia at this. <sighs> I know this up see there's such an action movie where you just turn your head off. But with something like this, you really have to question the writing in the movie. Ugh. Anyway, I get it to 4 out of 10. As I said, if you're 12 year old, you might enjoy this. But any older, you just shake your head. But no. Okay, next week I'll be going to the, I'll be reviewing the last, oh no, 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 the second of the Craig movies and the, the, probably the last of the bombs. Because even though there are some other ones that were, were that seem bad, they're just crazy and I, I like some of the weird crazy ones. Like Goldeneye or, uh, the, the two, uh, Tim Burton, uh, I don't know the other thing, man. Yeah. Living Daylights and Michael Kale, that was cool. That's one of their ones. And until that time, I'm a Jehu, and I'll see you later.